The Pulpery Star System is in the Arnish Yusue Galaxy. It consists of four stars orbiting a black hole. The first species to develop space travel in the Pulpery Star System were the humans, which are native to human world. All organisms that are native to human world are also native to a planet in the Milky Way Galaxy called Earth. When space travel was first invented in the Pulpery Star System, it was done primarily by chemical rockets. Chemical rockets were not practical for traveling near other stars because it took too long to reach them. Therefore, humans did not travel outside the human system until more advanced technology was developed. Fusion power made space travel much more practical. It worked by combining hydrogen atoms to form helium atoms, which released a large amount of energy. The spaceship constantly accelerates for the first half of the flight. It constantly decelerates for the second half of the flight. Con the constant acceleration and deceleration both result in artificial gravity. Fusion power made it possible to travel near other stars in the Pulpery star system within a few months. However, it still was not practical to travel outside the star system. The first practical fusion spaceship was developed by Lequisov Transportation. Lequisov was a massive transportation company that sold cars, trains, airplanes, and eventually spaceships. Lequisov established colonies on other planets, such as Lequisov World, Neverland, and Semiland. They also made contact with an alien civilization known as the Plimmels. It's an alien! Don't worry, I'm not going to hurt you. I am here to establish a business relationship with your people. We are interested in selling transportation through space and products made on our home world. We would use the money to buy land and establish a base on your planet. The astronomers were right! There is intelligent life on that planet! Can I buy some of your products and sell them online? Okay, we'll use the money to hire a consultant from your planet. Lequisov transported humans and plemmels throughout the star system. A plemmel company named Trestinox transported people throughout the star system as well. At first, the colonies were governed by space line companies. However, the planet's populations greatly increased over time. Many people did not want corporations to control entire planets. The humans and plemmels therefore established a weak interplanetary government called the United Planets. This is the United Planets. We have decided that Lycosoft World, Neverland, and Samoland are too populated to be governed by spaceland companies. A democratic government will therefore be established. Okay, bye. Why did you give up control of the colonies so easily? I did like controlling the colonies. However, rebellion would result in very bad publicity, which would decrease our profits. Don't worry, our space lines will remain profitable.